Hi guys, um, welcome back to day 22 of the Inspired series. Um, I'm Beth and yeah, I'm going to be doing the devotional today. So, um, hopefully you will have read the 2 Chronicles 36 and Psalm 137. Um, that is what this devotional is about. So if you haven't, pause it, read it and then come back. Um, it will make a lot more sense. Um, so basically, um, I spent some time thinking and meditating over this. And so what I've got from it is the Israelites are obviously living in Jerusalem. It's beautiful. They're living with God and it's great. Um, but then over time, um, the kings keep coming and messing up and doing evil things, as it says, um, and turning their faces away. And so God sends multiple different prophets to come and to be like, guys, if you don't turn back towards me, then I'm going to send you to Babylon. Um, and it says in it that, in my translation, it says that he sent persistently to them his messengers because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So it wasn't just like, he was like, hey, one chance and you're out. Like over and over, he kept speaking to them and um, they didn't listen to him. And I have definitely feel like I saw myself in that in times before. Um, and so then it gets to a point where God is like, okay, that's it. Um, and he sends them to Babylon, Jerusalem gets taken down um, and they become exiles. And then what we read in Psalm 137 um, is basically the Israelites lamenting over the time when they were close to God, when they used to worship him and know him and be close to him and um, they're basically just longing to be back in Zion and back in um, in closeness and nearness with God um, and so then it says at the end of the two chronicles um, passage that God moved Cyrus who was the king of Persia moved his heart and basically told him that he needed to build a new house at Jerusalem um, in Judah. So then God's basically giving a second chance to the Israelites. Like he hears their like cries and he hears them lamenting and wishing to be back in nearness and closeness with him. And so God being the kind of God he is and being good and faithful, um, he allows them to rebuild. Um, and so I think what I've got from this is God is so good and he's so kind and he hears when we call out to him but also this idea of like when we are far away from him we miss him and like we are sad over the days of when we were close to him um and so yeah I wonder like what we need to do in order if we feel like we're in a wilderness place or um we feel like we're far away from God at the moment. How do we get back to being in close proximity with him and hearing his voice and um, being in a place of intimacy with him? Um, so that's what I've really been thinking about after it, is like, what do I need to do in order to get back in to a place of close proximity with God? Um, so I'd love to pray for us. Um, yeah, Father, I just, Thank you so much for your word and I thank you that we can learn um, through what the Israelites endured and what they went through Father and the decisions that they made and God I just really pray that you um, would teach us how to remember your faithfulness, remember who you are God, to keep our hearts soft towards you and to live in step with you and nearness with you. Um, so yeah Father help us to put down the things that are not good for us and that are just um, distracting us and taking us away from where you want us to be and just bring us into close proximity with you, God, into intimacy with you. Um, yeah, amen. So the question is, what do we do with all of this? And I think the main thing I've come away thinking is like to stay intentionally in a place of gratitude, of remembering who God is and remembering his faithfulness and something I found really helpful um, when I've just felt like I've been in a wilderness before or just far from God 
Um, I've gone back over my journal entries from like times when I really know God was speaking to me and I've just recounted his faithfulness and his goodness. Um, and so if you've got a journal to read, we'd really recommend that. Like look over when he's heard your prayers before and you've seen them answered or when you've seen your friends um, have insane moments with God that have really encouraged you. Um, look back over that and if you don't just remember and also like we have a whole bible of just like story after story of his goodness um, and so I just really recommend you to just like sit and to just saturate yourself like in the word and in the goodness of who he is um, so yeah I hope you have an amazing day and uh, see you for day 23